Tomorrow marks two years since a driver spread, uh, sped rather through the parade, killing six people and injuring 62 others. Yeah, CBS 58's Adam Reif reports tonight from Waukesha after talking to one of those victims. This plywood box hides a memorial that's been two years in the making. It'll be revealed on Tuesday. It means different things to different people, but the people we spoke with say they want these streets to once again be filled with joy. I've struggled um, hard with getting to this spot right now. That spot is Five Points, where two years ago, Jennifer Stover was hit by the speeding car as she passed out candy with the extreme dance team. Her then eight-year-old daughter Olivia was also hit and suffered a traumatic brain injury. She is doing amazing. Um, she doesn't remember it, thank God, but she is, um, she's so strong. For two years, Jennifer has avoided going anywhere near Main Street. I've gotten to the stoplight and I've gone, don't look down there, don't look down there. But now she feels it's time for herself and for her daughter. Tuesday's memorial service will start at precisely 4.39 p.m., the time the car drove through the parade. It will honor the lives lost and support those who are still suffering. Several speakers are scheduled and mental health resources will be available. It was at one of the community sessions that Jennifer met Tammy Evenoff. The bonds and the, the people that we've become to know and consider family, uh, we're all still together. Tammy owns Burlap and Lace, which opens its doors every parade to offer hot chocolate and restrooms. But two years ago, it became a shelter. You see those memories and those flashes in your head, and it seems like it was yesterday. When Jennifer told her friend she wanted to venture back out on a main street. It was overwhelming, and I've been nervous about it all day. Tammy was there to help her friend reclaim what was taken from their community two years ago. I would walk to the front door and say, we're safe. We're, we're safe. You're not taking this from me. Again, the memorial service will begin at precisely 439 in the evening. We'll have live coverage during our broadcast and full coverage at 9 and 10. Here in Waukesha, Adam Reif, CBS 58 News.